watching from in the world, it is Anthony and Clay here with a, for, well, for us, it is half past 10 in the morning and we didn't go surfing today. So Skateboarding. Instead, yeah, you've, you've, you've been coaching on the ramp, so instead we decided to jump on. We're going to go into the Ombi app, into the community. There's, some, there's a few posts there. So we're just going to just shoot the breeze for a while and talk about a few of the things that have been coming up inside the app. So uh, for those of you that are new to Ombi, we have our very own app. There'll be a link below so that you can um, access the Ombi method, which is inside the app. This is our very own community where people are posting in questions. This is where people get access to all of the content. So we're going to jump into here. And do you know what I oh, like about on. the community, though? Yep. Um, people on our community know stuff that we don't know, which, which is awesome, because mm. then you're almost getting um, better feedback. Um, for example, was it Dave with the motorbike? Was Dave, so yes. I, I've never raced motorbike, but basically what some of the guys were saying with peripheral vision and looking and the leaning and high speed turning, yeah. he says all of that stuff applies. And yeah. also the freeze, flight and fight um, reactions, all of those things apply. So um, there, there's so many crossovers from other sports. Yeah. And having those people being on the community, giving that knowledge back, it's fantastic. Yeah, I love cool. it. So we've got Tim... Hey from LA. Hey, how you doing? So if, if you if you are on and you're watching, chuck a little comment in the in the box there. I'll pop it up on the screen. But let's let's jump into the app. Let's ask answer a few questions and let's sure. uh, let's just have some let's just have some fun. If anybody has got a question, actually, feel free to pop it into the into the chat box, and we'll answer it. So the first one that we're going to go to here is so Jake L. Let's pull the post up. So been surfing for a few years, very much in the head with the takeoff. Uh, always practicing on the BOSU board and the cardboard slide, and other things on land. So. Basically, it's the, the pop-up, so let's have a look. Now, the video does zoom in a little bit on this. I believe, I believe it did. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, I know, I know what's going on here. You know what's going on? Yeah. Okay, good. You say what's going on. Okay. And, uh, while, you, while you do that, Nico, Nico, who's, who's literally around the corner, who's watching, meant to be working, but he's watching, so... <laughs> He's literally in the room. Nico, shout out hello. <laughs> shout out hello. hello. There you go. That's, that, that's, that's Nico in the background. You probably didn't hear him. Uh, we've got Mark Perez, who is on. And hello, Facebook user. Hey, guys. Cheers for the new format. Look forward to waxing it up. So someone who you've just made a board for who isn't okay. actually a Facebook user is a real person. All right. But anyway, let's jump into this. Okay. So and there's been times where you and I have been surfing and I'm going out, you're paddling but you're not looking at the wave and you're disconnected. Okay, so... You said that quite a lot to me, to be honest. <laughs> so it's, it's the equivalent of someone learning how to drive and they're so worried about not stalling the car that they take their eyes off the road, they look at the clutch and then release the clutch while looking down. And then when they get going, they're like panicking because they don't know what's happening next. Yeah. So I think when people panic around the pop-up, they take the eye off the wave, and that taking the eye off the wave is me going, you're disconnected. Yeah. So um, do, do you want to jump in now or later on to that footage that we found on the YouTube? It's entirely up to you. We're, this is, this, that, we're, 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 we're kind of freeballing this one, so... Well, let, let's jump into it now. The, the reason being... We've got a few more people joining on. Hey, Dean. Hey, Matthew. Hey, SP. So if anyone's got a pop-up issue, I think we are going to give you the solution now. Okay, so, okay, so this un, is big. Un, unbeknownst to me, this is now turning into a pop-up, a pop-up live. So we're, we're, so we're going to talk about the pop-up. Well, cool. If you think about a lot of the community guys, guys are going, hey, I'm struggling on the pop-up. I'm not feeling it. And it's all got to do with reading waves and knowing what's going on. Yeah. So let's um, bring up the... Let me bring up that bit of footage. Yes. Okay, so this is... Now, I would love to be able to credit who this, who this video is. Who this video, who's this video belongs to? We found it on YouTube. Clay really liked it, um, so we're just going to play it. I will try and find out who it is and credit it in the comments below afterwards. Yeah. It's a really cool piece of footage. That at the moment it looks like a black. You you you, you right. take control. I'm going to okay, do some more so hellos. it's a slow mo pop up now. Hey Sean, check out this. All right. Hey Robert. If you look at Steph. Man of peace. How you doing? How you doing? Sorry. Right. You carry on. There's no foam around her. So she's not kicking, she's not pulling water, she's just literally gliding into mm. it, okay? And her chin is up and she's looking at the wave and she's reading it. And then there's this moment where she glides. She doesn't rush to her feet. 
Okay, so that's the moment where you feel, okay, I'm connected with the wave. Now, that is the problem with most people trying to do a pop-up. They're not connected. They don't feel it. The timing's off. So she's not rushing the takeoff. Look, I'll do it in slow-mo. Check it out. She doesn't take her eyes off the line that she wants to take. Wait a minute, how, how's she appearing? This, it's like a devil thing going on. What's going on? Oh, it's just another surfer. And then if you, if you have a look at Chris and Moore when she stands up, look at the sprinting posture. So she's walked up looking like a sprinter. Okay? Now, the, the footage of that very first surfer who did the pop-up, mm. they were so locked legs and the arms flying everywhere. Can I, can I just go... I, I, I need to go back to it while you're talking. I'm going to play it okay. again. So watch the legs lock and watch the arms flail everywhere. So lock legs... Arms flailing everywhere. Okay. Okay. So in the moment that they were standing, okay, so think about this. Can we go full screen to me here? We can. Let me just finish watching that. Okay. Now we'll go full screen. Okay. So imagine, right, sprinters, you're doing a 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go. Okay. What the hell happened? Like, why, why did that, ugh, why did my hand go over there? But let's just say, for example, okay, sprinters run to my right. So I look right and I coordinate right and off I go. So they're just thinking standing. When you surf, you're moving somewhere. Okay. Can I be a little bit irritating here and, and sort of yes. chime in? So I get what you're saying. However, when, so you're talking about a diff slightly different scenario here. So if you were to run and you were to show that, that demonstration and then putting down backward, you have the, the floor underneath you stays still and it's flat. Whereas what you're talking about is a moving surfboard that's going down a wave, which, so there's, you've got these other forces okay. at if, play. If you were in a train <coughs> and the train's moving, could you still run along the train? Yeah, you can still run, yeah. It's the same thing, same principle. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> All right, all right <laughs> hang on, hang on. I, I've got something really important to explain. So again, uh, no, full I'm screen. So, so, so just, so I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just trying to find the arguments think, here. Think about <coughs> the inside of your thighs and your center of mass mm -hmm. and where your balance comes from. Yeah. Okay. So from here, I c wherever I want to go, I could just turn my hips lightly and I could walk in that direction and I could walk in that direction. Yeah. But what I need to do is keep my chin level and look. All right? Now, if I look down, I've already moved over my center of mass. I've got no control now. Keep my chin level, I go back, I've got my control. So when I'm paddling to my wave, I chin level and then stand up, I've got my control. Yeah. But... If my chin goes back for whatever reason, I'm on the back foot. My center of mass has shifted and I've got no control of my body weight. Mm. Whereas from here, I could move forwards, I can move back, left, right. So I'm, I'm controlling with small movements. It's almost like, like doing a hula hoop. Try a hula hoop with a bent back. It's not going to work. So when someone does stand up, they need to do smaller, minor adjustments moving their center of mass. Mm. The, just, I, I know that I brought up the argument there because I'm, I'm just trying to see it from everybody's viewpoint. The way that I, I really liked it is, is how you talk about when, when a train is about to, to leave. That, like, so if you're still on a train, yep. as, a, as a train's about to leave, you actually physically adjust, you lean forward slightly as it, as it goes to stop. You've, you've got excited about something. Yes. But, but that, I feel, is, is a really good analogy. And... So when... Hey, should we get Nico, the guinea pig, and we do something with him? All right, we're going to bring Nico in. Right. Ni Nico's got I'm no gonna idea. Get, I'm going to get some stuff. Nico's got no idea he's about to come in. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to carry on randomly talking. So, so Clay was mentioning... Uh, so he said quite a few times in, in, in a lot of our... So, so we do a bi-monthly uh, coaching where people within the community, they submit their footage, and then we jump on a Zoom call together, and then, and then we go through their footage. And one thing that Clay has said quite a lot of times over the last few sessions is is about when you're, on the, say when you're on a train, if that train was about to suddenly move away, if you weren't ready, you would get tipped backwards, which is the reason why you sometimes see people on the train just sort of step back. But if you know that the train's moving and you lean slightly into it, 
it gives you that that stability. And I think that it's exactly the same with the pop-up. It's, it's definitely something that I found with the pop-up, that if I don't lean forwards onto that front foot as if the train is about to leave the station, that's when this back arm starts to flick backwards. And then I feel like the, the, that I'm going to fall backwards off of my surfboard. And last week I went down and surfed the wave pool down in Melbourne with the sole intention of surfing on my backhand. Now I don't surf on my backhand that often, being on the Gold Coast, mostly surf rights all the time, so I'm always on my forehand. And a couple of times as I was taking off, because I became disconnected with the wave and I didn't prepare for that movement down on my backhand, I found myself whoa, going backwards on quite a few of the waves. And when Clay talks about the about the being connected to the wave, I, w I want to try and explain this to you the, the way that I've understood it, because there's been a few times I'm like, what do you mean connected with the wave? And it's for me, it is literally looking down the line. So looking whereabouts I want to go, rather than looking at the nose of the board and thinking that I've got to pop up there. Like Clay's put down a towel. We are it's, now going it's to- not a we're towel. Now gonna, we're gonna, it's it, a blanket. And that blanket almost looks like a nine foot long board. Okay. Or, or a soft top for us. I, got, I have no idea what is about to happen here. What you're witnessing is a live experiment. Nick. <laughs> there is no editing. Come there is in. no editing. We have got no safety net here. Clay has gone rogue on me. Uh, well, well let, me just, let me just grab a few. Um, so, Colin, hey, hey, Colin, how are you doing? Got, got Troy, how are you doing? Just uh, Yoris is saying, my big pop-up problem is being able to get my legs between my arms, trying a few different stretches, but still finding it difficult these days. Yes, I'm getting old and stiff. Okay, so okay. <laughs> lie down something, on the surfboard. Something's about to happen. Hang on. So lie down on the surfboard. I might even give... Give so my, a little bit my, further my microphone back. to Nico, hang on. Nico, I'm going to mic you up a second. <laughs> I've got no idea what Clay's about to do to you. Pop that into there. Okay, so I'm going to get Nico to stand up on the blanket. And then once he's popped up, I'm going to pull the blanket. And I should pull Nico along the floor. But if he's in a bad posture, when I pull the blanket, he might fall. It's like being on the train and the train moves. Okay, I, want, I just want to see what happens. Okay. Okay. So, Nico, all you do is do a pop up, and then I'm going to go, Are you ready? And I'm going to move the blanket, all right? Okay, so. Yeah. Cool, do your pop up. All right, I'm going to pull the blanket. Oh, Felicia! <laughs> 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 okay. So, Nico, if you're in a train and you're holding on, and the I train. Know, magic trick. And, and, <laughs> and the train starts to move forward, wouldn't you lean that way? Yeah. So, why did you lean back? Wind down the car windows. Oh, I thought I was on my, my front foot, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. So what you want to do is just move your hips forward a little bit. Almost just bend your knees in the direction that you want to go. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And let's, for example, just say you're in the train. Bend your knees over there and hold the railing. Okay. Okay. Let's yeah. just do that. Okay. Lie down further back. Do you back. To do pop up again? Yep. <laughs> okay. Now, when you're in the train... Do you relax when you stand up? Yeah. Okay, so stand up in the train. Up, 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 relax. Yeah. Hold that for now. Just one handle, okay? Now, as I start to pull you, point your knees in this direction. Choo -choo. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so sick. <laughs> okay, done? Yes, yeah, me. All right, so you, hopefully you. people can understand that you know how to ride a train, you know how to ride a bus. When you stand up, relax, Thanks move in Nico the direction for, for that you want to go. For jumping in there. Thanks, Nico, for the experiment, bro. That was great. That was, uh, I've never seen that. I've never, ever, ever seen Clay do that before. That was, that was, that was great. I was actually worried Nico was going to fall backwards and bang his head. Um, okay. Well, the reason why I do that is, um, what was Nico's first response to the movement? winding down the car yeah, windows, woof. okay? And the very first video of Jake on his pop-up, what yeah. happens? He's on the back foot winding down the car windows. But if he was connected, knowing where the train is going, and he coordinates on that line, you basically, your body starts going forwards, and it's smooth, and it's effortless. Yeah. And um, yeah, that, that's just my crazy way of illustrating examples. Well, that was... Very entertaining. I hope that you lot found that, that as entertaining as, as I did and hopefully as, as, Nico, as Nico did. 
Uh, let's just go through a few of the questions here. So, uh, Man of Peace says, I've got a habit of popping up too far forward on my longboard. Too far forward. Um, okay, if you're popping up too far forward, what I suggest you do, and you can watch me on this one, um, you, you've probably popped up and, and your hands down and quite low. So lift your arms up and physically take a step back. Okay. And if you want more speed, you can step forward. But by getting your hands up, you're going to make yourself lighter. And then you can actually step back and start to shuffle your feet around. Um, if your arms are left to right or down, you're going to find it very, very hard to move. So it's fine that you aren't standing in the right place because waves change and maybe you need to be more forward, maybe you need to be more back, but you need to be able to move into the right position. To do that, it's straight back, arms up. That will give you the balance to then move your feet. Yeah, perfect. Philippe, hey from Chile, how you doing? Hey. Rosie Marley, uh, I now want to try hula hooping while surfing. I macaronis, macaronis, it is on. <laughs> Rosie's going over, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rosie, we'll um, we'll 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 we we'll we'll got make, a month of it. We'll, we'll make it a challenge when we go on the on on the macaroni's trip. Uh, what have we got here? Any tips on avoiding the tail pitching forward on hollow late takeoff waves? I went to Hawaii and kept getting pitched. Okay, so you're probably looking down. If you drop your chin, you're putting pressure on the front, and the waves lifting the tail. So you need to do more of an Oreo biscuit, push the tail down. Okay, there's a bit. Hang on a minute. There's a little bit of an update there. I tried looking up and where I wanted to go, but fifty percent got pitched on the really hollow corners. Okay, so think about someone dropping into a skateboard ramp. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all front foot. Now, not only are you going down, you almost want to go left or right. So it's front foot toe edge or front foot heel edge. So okay. I think that um, you're possibly just trying to stand when you need to think about that line. Yeah, It's almost like now you're on a bullet train. You're not just a train and the train's moving. It's you're on a bullet train and you have to run. So it's get front on. foot. Get your toe edge. So it, it's kind of like you're, you're not just trying to balance on the board. You're trying to get your, the board to balance on a hollow part of the wave. So you really got to engage front foot toe edge mm. or front foot heel edge. I think we did a, a really good coach's eye on Craig Anderson, late takeoffs. Yes. Which is, so, so somewhere on Check YouTube, out. there's a Craig Anderson analysis that we did where he's taken off ridiculously late, but you can see that he's getting on that, he's getting on rail and starting that turn like, yeah. like super and early. The tail pitching forward is, is totally normal because you think of, okay, if you're going to go snowboard down a hill, what happens to the tail on the snowboard? It lifts up. If it's flat, you're not going anywhere. Mm. So you don't want the tail to be flat because you, you're going to lose speed. You want the nose down, tail up, but you've got to commit to that feeling. And I think it's being uncomfortable that's maybe throwing you off. So correct me if I'm wrong. There's been a couple of times when we've been out surfing. One time, for example, when we went out um, and surfed that spot where I, I, was, I got sent down the mine shaft. Yes. Where I took off late. I got pitched over the falls. Then I said, well done. You said, well done. Because you created that. Yeah. It, in that moment of, of taking off late, even though I thought that I was doing the right thing, because fear set in, I ended up looking down and then get going over the falls. On the, on the next one, you, you, you got me to really focus on looking, look here, look here, looking look over there. And the second that I did that, even though it was a late takeoff, I was able to, to make it. Because I was looking that way, it kind of initiated all of those, all of that, that, that the, so the toe edge yeah. and everything happening. You'll be surprised what your subconscious mind makes your body do. And it's going to respond to stress. And then the stress will override what you yeah. wanted to do on that yeah. wave. Um, as soon as the fear kicks in, you lose control of your body. And a, a really good example then is, is, when, is when we had Nico then. He actually said, I thought that I was on my front foot when he wasn't. But he thought that he was. And this is one of the things that comes up time and time again is this, this whole conundrum of the average surfer, your intermediate surfer, thinks that they're doing one thing, but the reality is, is that they're doing something completely different. So this is why the community is so good. Mm. is because on your own, in your mind's eye, you think you're doing something. And you could go surf for two hours and practice the wrong thing. But yeah. if you've got a mate in the water, like you've got me, and sometimes yeah. I've got you, um, I could go, hey, Ant, um, your board's flat and you're hitting all the chop, go on rail, you'll cut through. And you're yeah. like, oh, okay. So, yeah, the community um, 
having Ombi and a mate to go surf with to maybe pick you up on some of the bad habits is so powerful. Yeah. Okay, let's, um, let's go through some of these. Uh, Troy says, any tips for popping up later on a smaller board? It'd be a similar thing as to as what we just said, wouldn't it? So, Troy, okay, can we go back to those pro surfers? Because yes, they are can. all riding small boards. <laughs> yes. yes, we can. Okay, hang on. Um, let, me, let me find the clip first of all. Let's go back here. The iPad. Cool. Okay, so, Troy, if the wave is fast, like we have over here, all right, you want to go into the sprint stance. Mm. Now, remember when you're sprinting, you're on the front foot trying to go front foot every time because you're going forward. So over here, the surfer's head is in front of the body. So you're leaning in the direction that you want to travel. And then you're going to sprint stance. If the wave's slower, you go to a walk. And if it's really slow, you kind of just stand. Mm. Okay, so your body language is um, determined by the speed of which the wave is traveling across the bank. Yeah. Um, that's, sorry, just keep on going here. I want to show you. So here we have Mark Richards. So Mark is in his 60s, I think. Uh, I don't want to be involved in okay. talking about how people are in case we get it wrong. But look at the glide. There's just no sprint paddling. He's gliding in. He's looking at that line. There, he's looking. He's taking his time. Yeah, it's epic. back foot. He's looking like a sprinter in the starting blocks. And John John's coming up next. I can see John Boom, John. front foot. John John, both the knees pointing forwards. Hands up. Bang. Okay, so the thing that I'm taking away from the good surfers mm. is that they have got time. Yeah. Because they're looking and they're using the time well. The, the intermediate surfer is overthinking and they feel like they're rushed and they haven't got time. Mm. And it's when you rush, you make your mistake. Yeah. Uh, Graham, there's, Graham is one of our one of our very valued members of, of the Ombi community. Um, Graham is, is also very active inside inside the inside our community app, um, answering lots of questions and making sure that, that, that we see some of the important questions that come up as well. So um, check out Graham's answer there for Yoris. Thanks, Graham. Doing us proud again. Frankie, hey, how you doing? Jenny Sheldon, how you doing? Uh, Graham there, answering more questions again. Awesome, thanks Graham. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll bring Graham in one day. Uh, a bit confused. First of all, the surfer goes down the wave. In other words, we, we look at where we want to go, where we go, the bottom of the wave, don't we? No, you feel it. So if I'm dropping into a skate ramp, okay, so I'm at the top of the skate ramp. Uh, let's do this over here. Okay, so over here, I'm about to drop in. I kind of feel this, but I'm looking at where I want to go. Because if I drop my chin, I'm probably going to land so hard at the bottom. But if I keep my chin up, I'm going to project forwards. Yeah. So that's, okay, let's do this then. Let's go back Otto here. Yushi, Otto Yushi, Otto Yushi. So, make the iPad. so can, can I just say something here? Yes, um, you and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong on this. When I went surfing the other day at the Wafer with a friend, um, he was also surfing his backhand. He's not used to surfing his backhand. He was looking straight down the wave, and he kept on pitching. And I said, don't look straight down. Instead, look across to the side to where about it's drawing, because that's where actually you want to aim the board towards to then come back up the wave. Yeah, so you... you so, so you're still looking down, but you're looking down at whereabouts you want to end, whereabouts you want to be, rather than down in the, in the blah of it. Put it this way. You don't want to drop your chin. I, I, can, I can see your... Your shoes from here with my peripheral vision. Yep. Okay, I can also see there's a there's a long board over there. There's a doorway over there. And I can see the roof with my peripheral vision. How many fingers am I holding up? None. <laughs> what you don't want to do is this and lose peripheral vision, lose the line, and get disconnected because you're worried about a pop up or the takeoff. Yeah. So can we go full screen here? So I haven't seen this wave. It's the first time I'm seeing yeah. this particular wave. I'm just, I'm just laughing at. Uh, Kenny, Kenny's written, get the popcorn out. I'm assuming that was for, for when we were gonna, gonna pull Nico across the floor. Okay, so look, she, she's not gonna what? look down. Look, she's looking at the wave. I know you have seen this one. She's reading. This is the first one, I think. Wow. Okay, it's hollow. Does she ever look down? No, she feels it. And then she's looking at the wave. So she did not look down at the board or at the feet. Yeah. It's always. Where's my line? What's the wave doing? What's going on ahead? 
and she's, she's moving in anticipation of what the wave is doing. I feel that a lot of people are disconnected to the wave and that's the thing that's screwing up the, the pop-up. Mm. Cool, all right, we can go back to the full screen. Okay, just looking at the comments that are there. So, so Bolt at 55, who was, we were talking about before Hawaii, I was looking down the line, the tail would pitch, and then I would bodyboard the wave for a few seconds before they okay. smashed me. So I'm just gonna bring up all the other things. I, I would probably say that you are your center of mass is not over your hips. I think you're probably bending your your back rather than bending your knees. Okay, so in other words, when when I pulled Nick the second time, his center of mass was was over his hips was moving. But if you're doing this. Watch my hips go back. Then I'm going to fall and body surf. But if my hips are going forward, okay, I'm, I'm not going to pitch. So I think you've got probably a posture issue and you need to just kind of straighten your back. A really good thing is jump on the BOSU board, jump onto the cardboard surfer, do all of yeah. those things, and that will help you with your stacking of your joints and um, moving the right parts of your body. Yeah, and also for any, anybody watching, the, the, the best place to start learning about the the OMBI, the OMBI world and, and the coaching framework in which we use, which which OMBI, if you don't know, it stands for Ocean, Mind, Body and Equipment. Coaching framework that we actually focus on surfing in that order, Ocean, Mind, Body and Equipment. Best place that you can start learning more about this is the OMBI method. There is a link below this video, click that. You'll get free access, it's an online program, yeah. you get free access to that. You can also then become part of the, of the community. So yeah, I'm interested. I'm just, I'm Paolo, just, you're in a you're in a desert, mate. Sorry. Where is that? I hope. Is, is that <laughs> I like hope there's some coastline somewhere? Is that um, I got no Morocco idea. maybe or I'm somewhere gonna, like that? I know. I'm, I'm gonna go, well, next time you talk, I'm actually gonna look it up. Uh, we have got Josh. First time catching you live. Nice, awesome. Josh. Where are you, mate? I'd love nice to time. hear where you're from. Okay. Wow, I'm, I'm assuming that, 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 so the answer to the question, or it was wow to Nico being pulled across the floor. Pepe, no, no, Pepe. that one, oh, em okay. empowered, that, this is fantastic. How many litres in that towel? Well, obviously, you, go you, you do that, I'm going to find out what Nico it needed more litres because that towel, I mean, it wasn't a towel, it's actually a high volume blanket, it covers a double bed. <laughs> you needed a... You needed more liters to, yeah. to, to mop up the Greeting, <laughs> oh, the from water. Costa Rica. Um, yeah, sure, I, I, I might be doing a trip next year to Nicaragua, I'm not sure. Um, it's in the pipeline. Would you come with? Hang on a minute, Sonoran Desert is in North America. Wow. Look at that. Oh, but. There we go, it right is. near California. Just, if anyone wants to know, Sonoran Desert, it's not focusing in very well, but it's there. Uh, it's not, not gonna focus, it's there. There in the world. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's, it's hard to relax if the low surfing stance isn't natural and relaxed position for a person to be in. Definitely something I want to work on. Yeah. Okay, so why is it not natural? So basically, if it's not natural, you're going into a freeze stance. And if you're frozen, you can't move. So think about a golfer has to relax to be able to hit the ball with power. A boxer has to relax to throw a stronger punch. Yeah. So relaxing is the key to better movement. So yeah. yeah, this this I I I, I really like here for Justin Frost. Thanks for fixing my walk up. My problem, uh, what to do after a pop up? This okay, but what I love here is thanks for fixing my walk up. I love okay. the fact that Justin has used that terminology. So when I was in the wave pool the other day, there was one guy and he was saying to me, ah. Oh, I, I really struggled with my pop-up, really struggled with my pop-up. And his pop-up was a pop-up. It was really explosive. And one of the big things that, that you talk about is it isn't a pop-up. It is a walk-up. Yeah. Like it's, it's a movement which you've been doing since you okay, so learned to walk. Go back to this clip. Okay, hang on. We're getting excited here. Okay, so tell me if she does a pop-up here. Back foot, front foot. That's how you walk. Yeah. The, 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 I think the issue with this is the language that we use, just describing it as a pop-up, the language signifies that it's an explosive action, we need to do it fast, it's like a, a pop, a cork coming out of a bottle of champagne, and it isn't that, if you look at any of the good well, people. These are world champions, yeah. popping up, popping up, but they're doing it, they, they glide, they read the wave, and they do it slow and smooth, 
and it transitions into foster surfing. Okay, and you're going to say, yeah, but they're pros, they know how to do it. Let me, um, oh, I haven't got Hayden's video on here anymore. I was, I was hoping I'd have, have, have Hayden's video. Let me see, let me just quickly see here. So let me see if I do. This is long enough. Okay. So and I'm showing you this just for comparison because I'm not a pro in any way, shape or form. However, if we look here, it again Front is... Front foot, back foot. Yeah, is, that was slow. It is a slow walk up. And, it's, and for, the reason why I'm showing you that is because for me, it's been a game changer in seeing it as a walk up rather than a pop up. It's made me create so much more time whenever I'm getting to my feet on a surfboard because I'm seeing it as a walk up. I'm just walking up onto my surfboard. There was a session we were in the wave pool. We were going, okay, try catch wave without paddling. Thanks for putting that in, by the way, Justin. That was amazing. Yeah. All right, so, so the question what he said is, oh, okay. what do I do after the pop up? Okay, so when we skate the ball, what I make people do is try to feel when is the board going up? When does the board go down? And that's, it's kind of like listening to music and trying to find the beat. Mm. Like w one, two, three, one, two, three. When do I extend? When do I compress? So ultimately, by bending my knees and extending my body, you will go down the wave, up the wave, down the wave, up the wave. And if you can get into a flow with that wave, you can understand it. Generating speed is going to be pretty easy. But if you're, if you're out of sync with the wave and you're fighting it, and you hit and miss on your timing, it's like trying to dance and, and you're not hitting the right beat at the right time, it's gonna look awkward. Yeah. So how do you feel it? How do you know when? And the, the, the trick is to move less. Like if you, if go, can we go back to Steph? Yeah, we can. Okay, so she takes off, the hands are up, but she, she's not like, Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. She, she's moving less. And let's try to go to, um, look, look at this. She stands there. Stacking. Out. Yeah, so that is basically Nick catching the train or the bus on the blanket. That's it. When he moved really well. Yeah. And that's all you got to do. And then you'll feel the wave draw up. So I think she might do it. And she goes up. Then oh, she needs to do nothing. And then she look, on the way down, bend your knees. Stand up. Bend your knees. So she's pretty much just standing there and going, okay, feel the wave. Go down, go up. Go down, go up. And then when you get the timing right of the up and down, you can start doing your turns. And then everything just starts to flow and it gets easier and easier and easier. Okay. Cool. We, we, right, we've got a lot of questions coming in here. Um, we've, we, this has become, oh, this, 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 has, this has become a, 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 a mini masterclass on the on, on the pop-up here. So just going through the questions there. Danny said knife it into something earlier on. Kino, you, know, you uh Alice is saying if the tail's pitching forward, maybe the board's too big to fit into the wave curve. Yeah, really good advice, Alice. Yeah. If if your board's too big, um, it's like trying to drive a bus and trying to park it in a very really tight parking, you'd need to go wider to park the bus. So mm -hmm. If you're nose diving and your board doesn't fit, you need to change the angle to create more space to make it fit. So th there are other elements that comes into it too. Yep. So great, great bit of advice, Alice. Thank you. Cool. Um, we're going we're gonna to go a little bit fast through these last few okay. questions. I know that you love these questions. Foot placement. Can you further break down foot placement when popping up and some techniques that, that I could practice? Do okay. you always Oreo biscuit, even on a more critical drop? Your front foot should land... Pretty much centre of the board. Centre of the board or the widest part of the board? Oh, same thing. Okay. Okay. Your back foot changes all the time, depending yeah. on what you're trying to get out of it. All right. Um, if you are going, for me, a right would be my forehand. I'm on my toe edge more. A left, I'm on my heel edge more. So I'm not going to have my back foot sort of in the middle. I'm going to have it slightly to the rail side so that I don't have to work as hard to put the rail in. Okay. So my feet change all over the place. Um, we've got a John John pop up here somewhere, haven't we? Okay, look at this. All right, where's Steph Gilmore's foot? It's in front of the pad. Yeah. All right, now watch. 
Oh, and she moves it back. Now she's, she's moved it right on the tail. Yeah. Okay. And she's on the heel edge. Then when she does that, she probably would have changed. What? She'll come back and she'll change the foot position again. No, not quite sure. Okay. My point being is your front foot almost stays where it is. Think about if you're going to kick a soccer ball. Right, your front foot is your balancing leg, but if someone throws the ball high, the back foot moves. If someone throws it low, the back foot moves. Mm. Okay, so your front leg is your balancing leg, and then your back foot moves around. Does that does that does that alter slightly if you start to ride bigger boards? Does your front foot move a little bit more then? Because I know obviously with a long board you might walk up and down it. Um, yes, you, you. It's not like you have this fine sweet spot. It 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 grows yeah. and depending on how fast you go the faster you go you want to move your center of mass forward yeah if you want to pivot and turn you might move it further back cool um ah oh, just that do you always oreo biscuit even on a more critical drop i think the best example of this and we haven't got it on the ipad is john john surfing those those that shore break where they literally just oreo while it's while they're, they're pretty much inside that barrel on that shore break so if i'm in the right place I will always default to the Oreo biscuit. Yep. If I'm in the wrong place, I'll put my chin down, I'll kick my legs, and I will scratch myself into the right place. So that's more you being... Bad positioning. Yeah. Not, not as in it's going to take like break over the top of your head. We're talking like you need to paddle to get to the position. Well, even... Let's say I'm too far out. Yeah. Okay, and the way's breaking closer in. I will have to put my chin down and and dig myself into position. Yeah. But nine out of ten times, I'm trying to be in the right place, and because when I'm out of position, I cause stress, anxiety, my heart rate goes up. Yep. I often stop looking at the wave, and I start overthinking. Like, oh, I'm late. It causes stress. Yep. So you want to get rid of that stress when you catch waves. So. I'm just going through. There's, there's, there's so many comments. If you have put a comment in, I really appreciate it. I can't bring every single one of them up onto the screen because it's gone crazy here. Um, okay, here we go. This, this, this is a good one. This is a good one here. How can we improve? So every single one of us, we, we, we get to a point in our surfing where we feel like we've plateaued. What do we do? Okay, so an intermediate line means that they're surfing the middle of the wave. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to go to 12. How yeah. hard is it for you? Well, it's a whole new technique that I've got to learn because I've now got to take a new line. I've got to move my body slightly differently than I was before. I've now got to stop doing what I've been comfortable with. Okay, so your answer there is your stagnate means you're comfortable with taking an intermediate line. Yeah. You need to start taking advanced lines. Which means you're going to fall off. Well, you're going to get uncomfortable. You're probably going to freeze. Yeah. Then you're going to run from it. And then you've got to start getting comfortable with those lines yeah. and the, that awkwardness. And, and turn it into fun. Yeah, and, I, I've, and just before Clay and I both jumped on, actually, we were, we were talking about enjoying the journey because it is, it is a journey, and whatever stage you're on, it's, it's just about being... like You're not going to go from beginner to suddenly... Because our, our monthly challenge that's just about to come out for the people that are, that are um, in our description is, is all around the forehand snap. But a beginner isn't going to do a forehand snap I've straight got off a, of the bat. I've got a question for you, Rob. Would you say that my public speaking is better? Yeah, it's got better. Would you say that I'm on top of my game? Well, there's always room for improvement for everyone. So you've been a very <laughs> polite in saying no. Okay, yeah. so when you came the other day and go, oh, I think I nailed my pop-up, I mean, I nailed my, my backhand turn. Yeah. I, went, I was like, you've nailed an aspect of it. Yeah. You haven't nailed the turn in its entirety. So it's, it's the same thing. Like, I know that there's... When I watch Ant speak, he, he relates to the audience really, really well. I'm so in my thoughts with what I'm trying to get out that I'm sometimes not connecting with the audience. Yeah. So it's kind of like you're in your thoughts on your turn that you're not connecting with the wave. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of similarities. And, 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 and with this, with this improving whatever level you're at, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate, whether you're advanced, whatever level you're at, in order for you to take the next step, there's going to be a certain skills that you need to learn. So... You don't want to be trying to do something that's way out there if you haven't figured this bit out first of all. And what I, I think what's what's really nice inside the community is we br we break it down into beginner, intermediate, and advanced, so that whatever level you're at, we we we'll try and give you some 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 drills so that you can move forwards. And then obviously then you just move into the next set of drills and the next set of drills. So I was I was 
surfing the intermediate line for ages. And now we're now trying to fix it so that I'm taking this, this more higher intermediate to advanced line. And I'm falling off on so many waves. But I'm enjoying the falling off way more because time. I know that it's, it's a, the process of me learning. If I just keep, if I jump into that habit of going out to the shoulder to do the cutback or whatever, then I know that I'm just defaulting back to my old habits. So there is a difference. I said to you in the water, and I clearly remember this, stop giving up and rather fall. Yeah. Because you would learn more. Yes. So in other words, a wave would come and it's going to close out, so Ant would give up and try to pop out the back. I'm like, Ant, rather bank off it and fall and try to figure out what you did wrong. Yeah. So, yeah, to the point where you actually even banned me from going in for close-out barrels recently. knee high barrels. Yeah, so I, was, I, I kept on putting these close-out barrels in case you're just wasting them. It's like you're, you're, you're exiting... Like you're, you're giving up. Yeah, you're giving up. You're not taking advantage of the fact it's a close-out section. You can do something on it. So that's, that's been a bit of a game-changer. Um, go to Danny's. This is pretty interesting. Okay, Danny, you're coming up on the screen here. Top turn front side. While passing the coffee and trying to twist, I tend to fly off the back of the wave while my board goes down the wave. I hear a lot, uh, I hear a lot of push with the back foot. At the top and pivot to push. So okay. Okay. So imagine that Danny was skating in the bowl, and he, he he's going off the back of the bowl. Yeah. How's it even possible? Well, I would say that everything about Danny's body language is saying go that way. Okay. So first of all, do you know what's happening? You're standing up dead straight, Danny. You're in balance. Okay. So uh. so you're surfing a three dimensional wave but one, wanting to be one-dimensional. So when you go up to, the to to do the top turn, your head should be leaning back because basically your board should be there and your body should be like that. I feel that you're like that. You're 1D, you need to go 3D. Then your head and your body mass wants to fall back down the wave again and all you've got to do is twist and catch yourself. But if you're standing up straight and the wave is pitching, moving the board, you're going to fall over the back of the wave, and your board's going to get pitched down the wave. So I hate to break it to you, but you're surfing flat. You're not using your rails, um, and you probably need to go and figure this out on a skate bowl. Um, not, not skating the street, but actually go to a bowl. You don't have to go high, but whenever there's an incline, you kind of got to learn how to lean and bank, mm. um, rather than the back foot pivot is, is a flat turn. That probably won't even help you. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and if you are living somewhere where you can't find a bowl, even just an inclined driveway is, yeah. is, better, than the, is better than the flats. Uh, just a, a real, real quick one here. Whis, whis, wistful Toll, new follower from Wales. Uh, Great Britain, so that's, that is awesome. Uh, wistful Toll, make sure that you uh, head over, so, so follow the link, go into the app. There is, a, there is an amazing community, actually, in the UK of, of Omni people that are all meeting up, and you'll find that Corin is currently the leader for Wales, and uh, she's on every single live. She's on. She's on here right now. I've already seen her comment. Can, can you bring up that Bolt Up Fifty Five? Okay, Bolt Up Fifty Five. This, so this is this is this is still the one. So Bolt Up Fifty Five is is the Hawaii earlier on. Okay, it's getting pitched over. All right. So do me a favor. When you finish this, go onto YouTube and have a look at Craig Anderson late drops, and tell me if they're not doing a walk up on the front foot. Yeah, so I, I challenge you to go and have a look at that, and it will change your perspective. Craig um, does it slow, smooth, which translates into fast, but the commitment to the front foot and the bending of the knees. Even, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, I've got something for this. Hang on. <laughs> even, so while you... Get, I don't know, another towel or whatever. Right. While you, so, so even, just very quickly, even down to, I, I mentioned it just a moment ago, the shore break with... Um, with um, John, John John Florence, John. I'm yeah. pretty sure that he walks up yeah. as well. Like he's, I wouldn't go anywhere near the waves that he's surfing, but he's walking okay, up. Okay, so if you, if you watch Jack Robinson surfing the box, okay, which is which is gnarly, it's super late and you've got to backdoor it. It looks like he gets his elbows up. So if you look at me, Ant, I almost look like an eagle, like I got yep. my elbows up, and he kind of pushes himself through the barrel. Right, so what is that if not look at me, Ant? I'm trying to find a video. <laughs> Push a shopping trolley. Yeah. Okay, so basically, to push a trolley, you don't push down, you push it in the direction you want to go. So the higher you get your elbows up, the more you're going to be able to press on your front foot. Jack in the box. Ready? 
Okay, so... Oh, no, hang on. I don't, I don't want the sound on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me turn the sound off. Let me go to the iPad here. This is... We're, we're doing... I want to try and... Hang on. I'm the iPad so here. you're going to see Let's he's mute. heavy on the front foot right. on the toe wedge, but it's elbows up, push the hands forward. I've got no idea what, what we're about to watch here. It's the first time I'm seeing it as well. Okay. Let me try and find a clip where he is... There we go. Here we go. Sweet. Okay. Go. So Let's go. Let's push, see what happens. Push the chopping trolley through the barrel. Uh, where's the pause? Oh, but there is no pause. It's on YouTube. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. I, I, know, I know what I can do. I can play it at slow speed. Hang on. Playback speed. Ah! So this is some all the jack, but... Okay. So he's stalling for the barrel to take him up behind the, behind the peak. But if it's really late, he's going to go elbows up, front foot push. But look at the stacking. That is... Pushing the blanket, I mean, pulling the blanket. You're on the bus traveling. Oh, uh, hopefully there's a later one and you'll see what I'm talking about. That one is an easy backdoor relaxed barrel, but I want the really gnarly heavy stuff. All right. Here we go, here we go, watch this. Shopping trolley. He walked up. But elbows, there's the push. Did Hang you on. see that? Hang on. Play that one again. I'm going to, don't you worry. Okay, so watch, elbows up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Elbows up, and then, oh, that's not the one. That was a different one. Sorry. Hang on, let me, let me do this. There we go, this is it. Okay, elbows up, front foot, push the trolley. Did you see that? Yep. Okay, do you feel like you proved your point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, let's, um, let's see what else we've got here. All right, we've got a lot of, Understandable. Let's go. Let's go. This one here, and then we're actually going to wrap things up. Well, I am. I am going to say, if you haven't already got your copy of the Ombi Method, which is an online, uh, which is our online, it's, it's, it's like the, the flagship program, and it is free. All you got to do is is follow the link that is in the description below this video. That'll take you over so that you can get instant access to that. Direct to Ocean Lily. I, I understand the walk up, thanks to Ombi. You're welcome. However, I still can't close the cap between being on my toes and riding the wave. I can ride the wave with my Oreo biscuit uh, and have fun in the power zone. Do you understand? I, I, I read can't that really close badly. the gap between being on my toes and riding the wave. Um, is it from being flat-footed to being on the toe edge or on rail? I'm not sure. That was a, I, chose, I chose a question. Which we <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I think you'd, okay. it, it's hard, sometimes hard to write down what you're thinking or... Let me have a quick look here. Let's, let's go for this one here. This will, this will be the last one, and then and then we're gonna we're gonna call it because we're nearly cool. on for nearly an hour. Okay, Noah Hall. I can't get the coffee cup down. I've got surf photos to rate. My back arm is doing whatever it wants. Surf skate while actually holding a coffee cup. A bit of advice. You've actually had me out in the surf. With a, so I'll paddle out with a cup in my mouth and then I'll take off and you actually physically get me to hold the coffee cup. Yeah, so I actually go and... So that's a pattern interrupter. So you, you're surfing and as you stand up, you grab the cup out of your mouth and you just hold it and you just point it wherever you want to go. And you, you'll be surprised by the hand-eye coordination and how that affects your surfing. Um, Ant was also filming with the GoPro and he had it in his hand. He yeah. was literally just pointing the GoPro and I was like, Ant, your style improves so much with the GoPro in your hand. Mm. It's better than when you take it out because then you kind of get lazy and the, uh, the hands weren't moving as well. So, um, yeah. So, look, we got a 7-Eleven. I'd go, when I coach, I get a plus, I mean, a, a paper cup. It disintegrates within about five ways, but then you just crumple it up, put it in your wetsuit, and they can throw it away afterwards. But catch a couple waves, hold the coffee cup, and then when you bank... Pour the, pour the water out, and wherever you're pouring, you're going to go. When you bottom turn, you can fill the water up, and then you can pour it out, and then you can twist around and get used to playing with those wrist movements. Yeah. And yeah. That'll, that'll activate toe and heel edge. So Director Ocean Lily was, is, uh, I keep falling. So that was in, re in relation to, I keep falling, which was... So if, if you keep falling, and this is something okay. that we alluded to... In relation to that. 
we alluded to earlier, I think you're bending from your hip. Okay, yeah. If your back is straight and you're controlling your center of mass, I think you're, you're almost bending from your hip and that's making you too much pressure on your toes. And you'll find that if you're bending from your hip, your legs are locking. Mm. Okay, Whereas if your back is straight, your, your knees will be free to compress and extend. Okay. Bullet, bullet, bullet 55 is still challenging it. <laughs> I'm loving this. The kid's taken off. The Jack Robinson was taken off behind the peak where the wave isn't as steep. Yeah, but then the, there's that really steep one where he did push the shopping trolley. Okay. Anyway, and apparently your uh, <laughs> your Craig Anderson, Craig Anderson flip is Jerry picked. <laughs> Oh, we will continue this conversation next time. But look, uh, guys, if you haven't um, if you haven't got yourself a copy of the Ombi Method yet, make sure that you head over to the link below, click it, you get instant access to the Ombi Method, and you'll also get to join the community with all the amazing people. And yeah, and next time we go into the app. We didn't actually go into the app that much today. The plan was, was to go into the app and, uh, and go through a whole bunch of different posts. We what? managed to get through one post. <laughs> one post. Well, lucky that we got it. the community because um, that, are the amount of comments up there or not? Okay, so there's two comments on that. Like, there's always people uh, commenting on so the post. There's, there's 12 comments on that one. Yeah, so look, just come in and, and join, join, join the community. It's, 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 it's free to join the community. And uh, yeah, we will, uh, we'll see you on the next live. We're going to try and do a lot more of these where we jump on. They're normally going to be half an hour, but we decided to go on some really weird tangent. Um, pulling, 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 pulling Nico round on towels, talking about takeoffs, and uh, and and trying to convince Bot up fifty five. Push a shopping off. trolley on the on the late waves. Bot up fifty five. Really appreciate your uh, interaction in the in the feed there today, and I do like it when people challenge Clay because it's normally me that's challenging Clay, and it's normally me him getting annoyed with me. So instead, he's got he's got annoyed with you today, Bot up fifty five. Okay. But uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, check them in the comments below, and uh, we'll we'll check back in. We're going to leave you on a little bit of info about the Ombi Method. See you guys. The Ombi app is a free-to-download surf community and online surfing coaching platform. In the app, you can get access to exclusive content, including the Ombi Method, which is an amazing free online course, which a lot of surfers have already said that that course alone has significantly improved their surfing. By downloading the app, you'll also be joining a huge international community of surfers of all skill levels supporting and helping each other improve. Also, Join the app now and you'll get two weeks free access to our premium content. It's kind of like a Netflix for surfers, where you'll find all of our courses, there'll be land-based drills, water-based training, access to live coaching sessions, and you can also check out our monthly challenges. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Ombi app now and join the Ombiverse. <laughs>